Have you ever wondered how your evening glass of wine might be influencing more than just your mood? There's lots spoken about with regards to what it's doing to our brains, liver and overall health, but I think not much is mentioned about the impact of alcohol on our bone health and subsequent factor risk. Bone health is extremely important to enjoying our life and independence as we get older. The problem is it is often neglected and doesn't become important to people until it's too late. So what are bones? Bones really are an amazing organ. They're sort of the unsung hero of our bodies. They're not just static structures, bones are dynamic, packed full of really important cells, constantly remodeling and adapting to the demands that we place on them. They provide structure, support for muscles, protection for our organs, and play a crucial role in producing blood cells. Over the past decade, alcohol consumption has really risen likely in part due to how easily available it is now it's much cheaper and there's much more drinking at home rather than at pubs or bars and restaurants and it's not just a personal choice it has actually become a public health concern and is a major long-term objective of the health service to address most doctors have their own personal concern with the effects of alcohol and orthopedic surgeons are no different so what is the effect of alcohol on our bone health first we have to understand that our bone density peaks at around age 30 and then gradually reduces from that point on during a process called remodeling where bone is constantly broken down and then reformed. And one of the most significant effects of chronic excessive alcohol consumption is that it accelerates that loss of bone density, making our bones weaker and much more susceptible to fracture. It also affects nutrient absorption. Our bodies depend on a variety of essential nutrients, including calcium and vitamin D for its strength and resilience. However, alcohol hinders the absorption of these vital nutrients in the digestive system. This creates quite significant nutrient deficiencies, which further compromises the integrity of the bones. And regular alcohol intake also affects liver function, which is important in activating vitamin D, which enables us to absorb calcium from our guts and is absolutely crucial to bone health also negatively affects the hormones that regulate bone health mainly estrogen which has a protective effect on the bones studies have shown that excessive alcohol intake can cause irregular periods and that disruption sustained over time also accelerates bone loss osteoporosis is what we are concerned about and what we know is that alcohol intake significantly increases the risk of developing osteoporosis over time and this is a common but irreversible condition characterized by low bone density and increased fragility, increasing the risk of fractures. Commonly, these fragility factors occur in the spine, hips, wrists, and shoulder. Though it's more common in the elderly, it can occur in much younger adults, particularly where there has been sustained alcohol consumption over time. How much alcohol causes osteoporosis? Because most of the studies looking at alcohol and osteoporosis are observational, it is hard to conclude an exact cause and effect, and there are multiple other factors. But a recent review of multiple studies suggests that we only need between half and a single drink per day to increase our risk of osteoporosis. And of course, that risk increases quite significantly with each additional daily drink. And the last thing is, it might seem obvious, but alcohol increases the risk of falling, which makes osteoporotic factors much more likely. And this is something that we see quite regularly in hospital. If you're concerned about yours or someone else's alcohol consumption, or your risk of osteoporosis, I will leave some useful resources in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.